after each test, it's imperative that you clean and the, the machine thoroughly to get rid of all residue that remains so it doesn't affect the next test. Um, this particular setup will show how the cleaning function works. You simply go from the control panel and go to the accessories and press on the clean button. That lowers the ram down so that I can put in the piston extraction tool. I position that like that and then I hit the clean function again and that just simply brings the piston out of the cylinder. It allows me to grab the piston. After the piston rod is clean, we can go ahead and get the orifice out. We do that by positioning or removing the extraction tool and placing the cleaning tool in position. And then we press clean. We get our die removal tool. We clean, get our die in position. And then we raise our cleaning tool and we can simply remove our die from the bottom of the furnace and we clean that as well. And polyethylene is generally easy to clean. Some of the harder, uh, harder materials like polycarbonate or even you know, if you're doing a lot of testing, residue will eventually show up. So sometimes you'll have to use something like Scotch-Brite uh, that's a little bit more abrasive to get all the material off the die and the piston foot. After our die is clean, we can go ahead and use the clean assist to go ahead and clean the bore. What I did is put a cotton cleaning patch in position and then I will simply fire the cleaning cylinder and simply twist the rod. And I have to do this several times to make sure it's clean. What you want to do after you're done cleaning it is look into the bore to see if you see any smudges or streaks of material. You should see a nice mirror finish. And the real test of, the t of, of whether the machine is clean is you close your die and you drop your die back into it and you hear a click, audible click, that tells you it's clean. After you put the die in, you put your piston back in to make sure it comes to the proper testing temperature before the next test. It takes a couple minutes, but then you're ready to go for the next test.